To get started, place your notebook bottom up with the hinge closest to you, and remove the 11 screws from the lower case. It doesn't matter what order you remove the screws, as long as you remove them all. Gently insert a pry tool in one of the far corners, lifting just enough to pry the corner of the case apart, and carefully work your way along the edge of the case, and then along the sides, releasing the clips as you go. Once enough of the clips have been released, you should be able to use your hands to separate the rest of the lower case from the system, and then you can set it aside. Now, you need to disconnect the battery from the mainboard to remove power from the system. Now you should see the hard drive mounting bracket in the lower right part of the system, along with a separate connector and attached cable. There are four screws holding the mounting bracket in place. Remove each screw, and set them aside. Remove the mounting bracket and connector. Next, you'll need to attach the connector to your hard drive. You'll notice that the connector and the hard drive align with each other. It will only fit one way. Insert the hard drive into the connector. Now, you'll need your mounting bracket. Lay your hard drive inside of it. With the connector attached, it will only fit one way, and should look like mine. It's important to note that only a 7.5mm hard drive will fit. 9mm drives are not supported. There are two screws with holes on each side of the bracket, which align with the holes on your hard drive. A small bag with four hard drive screws should have come in the box with your computer. Use each of these four screws to secure your hard drive to the mounting bracket. Once all four screws are secured, lay the mounting bracket back in your system, with the connector board facing up. There are four screw holes to secure the bracket back to the system. Replace the four screws that you removed previously. Now you need to move the wireless card out of the way so that we can get to the connector on the main board. There is a single screw that holds it in place. Remove that screw, and set it aside. Then gently pull the wireless LAN card out of the system, and set it aside. Next, you need to attach the cable that runs from the hard drive connector to the main board. Make sure that the locking clip is up, and then insert the cable into the main board connector, and push down on the locking clip to secure it in place. Now, take the wireless LAN card, Reconnect it to the main board, and secure it with the single screw that you removed previously. And then reconnect the battery to the main board. Now, place the lower case back on the system, and secure it by pressing down to snap it back in place, making sure that there are no gaps in the plastics. Lastly, reinstall the 11 screws back into the system. If you have any questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site.